Hi, I'm Rachel Noya, speech language pathologist at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare in Wallingford, Connecticut. I'm also a clinical specialist in dysphagia education. Today, I'd love to talk with you about liquid thickening. Sometimes when individuals have difficulty swallowing liquids, a thicker liquid is easier to get down. And that's because it moves slower down the throat. So liquid thicknesses or viscosities can come in a couple different levels. So for example, some individuals might have prescribed to them honey thick liquid, which sounds like it is. It's the thickness of honey and it pours very slowly down the throat. The middle thickness level is something called nectar thick liquid. Nectar thick liquid is the consistency of a V8 juice or, or tomato juice. And then we have regular liquid, which has no thickness. So right now, I wanna show you how to prepare a thickened liquid. So I have here some orange juice, and I'm gonna show you, for example, how I would go about thickening four ounces of orange juice to a nectar thick consistency. So I have here a measuring cup, and I have here a can of powdered thickener. So thickener typically comes in a can and it's in powder form. There are other different types of thickener that are gel based um, and those are also readily available in our hospital here and also in local drugstores. On the back of every can of thickener is a chart. So uh, the can of thickener will tell you for how many ounces of liquid how many scoops of thickener are required to thicken it appropriately. So for example, for this particular brand of thickener, four ounces of nectar thick liquid requires one scoop of thickener. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a cup and I'm gonna put one scoop of thickener in this cup. All right, and it's important to have precise measurements because you don't want your liquid too thick and you don't want it too thin. So I have a measuring cup here and I'm gonna fill it to the four ounce line. All right, so I have a fork here and I have a fork here for a reason. If you whisk the thickener with the liquid with a fork, you get less lumps. So that's a little trick for you. So I'm gonna gradually add the liquid to the cup with the thickener. And I'm almost gonna whisk it as if it were eggs that I'm scrambling, all right? And for most thickeners, you wanna pretty vigorously agitate this for about 20, 30 seconds, longer than you might think it would, it would take to thicken. So I'm gonna do this. All right. And then now here's an important step. I'm gonna leave it alone for about five minutes because it's naturally gonna come up to its appropriate thickness level. So five minutes later, that juice is uh, appropriately prepared. So in addition to finding cans of thickener in the grocery store, you also can find in most grocery stores, pre-made products. So for example, uh, at a local grocery store, I was able to find pre-thickened uh, nectar thick water in bulk, which is very convenient because you could pop this in the fridge and have it at your uh, disposal whenever you need it. This is something else I found in a local grocery store. This is a pre-thickened nutritional shake. And online, a lot of companies offer individual cups of pre-thickened liquid. A couple things to keep in mind when you're preparing thickened liquids is you don't want to add ice cubes to them because then that will change the thickness level. The ice cubes will melt. So one way around that is start off with pre-chilled liquids. The other thing you can do is do a quick, quick chill of your thickened liquid by popping it in the freezer for about five minutes and that's very helpful. The other thing you wanna remember when you are thickening liquids, uh, such as coffee or tea, is you always want to add your milk, add your sugar, add your extras to those beverages prior to thickening them, because again, that will change the consistency. A lot of people also think that milkshakes are naturally thick. 
This isn't always so. Milkshakes melt in the mouth and melt in the throat and are actually considered regular liquids. One way around this is to use yogurt-based or pudding-based or pre-thickened milk-based shakes instead.